okay good afternoon uh, last class we have seen uh, fixed different types of fixed resistances and in this session we'll be seeing what are the different types of variable resistors and normally in variable resistors the value of resistance being changed from uh, minimum value to maximum value and these variable resistances are more normally used in radio for volume control and in television we can use these brightness control in television now the most common applications of variable resistors and these variable resistances are classified broadly classified as wire wound variable resistors and carbon composition potentiometers and this way of variable resistance uh, it's otherwise called potentiometers and these potentiometers are having mostly uh, three terminals once if you are connecting the two extreme uh, terminals it will act as a fixed resistances and if you are connecting either second terminal and third one or first or second it will act as a variable resistors and Uh, this will show if the physical uh, 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 type of this variable resistors. Here, what happened means uh, if you are having two terminals, it will act as a rheostat, and for a potentiometer, this is a variable resistance with three terminals. If you are able, if you vary this center terminal, the resistance will keep on changes. Thereby, this act as variable resistor. and these are the difference between a rheostat and a potentiometer a rheostat will have two terminals whereas in potentiometer it is having three terminals normally rheostats are connected in series with the load and voltage source whereas in potentiometer these ends are connected across voltage source and in rheostat it varies the current whereas in potentiometer it taps off a part of a voltage and uh, here we will see the different factors which affect the resistance we all know the expression uh, resistance is given by rho l by a where rho is the specific resistance or it is called resistivity from this it is very clear that the resistance is directly proportional to length of a wire and inversely proportional to the area of cross section higher the resistivity of the conductor then your resistance will be increasing thereby once the length of the conductor increases it increases the resistance increase because it is directly proportional in similar way lower the cross cross sectional area of conductor the higher its resistance now we'll see this in a, a physical manner uh, once the length increases we know it is directly proportional so what happens lower length will have less resistance and higher length will having greater resistance in similar way cross sectional area is inversely proportional so higher cross sectional area will be having less resistance and lower cross sectional area will be having higher resistance also this resistance is depends upon the specific resistance and the specific resistance will vary with the, the material that we are using for copper it is having less resistivity and aluminum it is having higher resistivity thereby will be getting higher resistance also the temperature also what happens means it increases the resistance increases lower temperature will be having lower resistance and this is the relationship between conductance and uh, resistance it is they are res uh, in, uh, reciprocal in nature so the conductance g is given by 1 by r and the unit for conductance will be ohm inverse so g is will become 1 by rho into a by l and this 1 by rho is called the uh, sigma it is called the conductivity so this is again uh, how this uh, resistance will affects with the temperature this will shows you how this resistance will be changing with respect to temperature and next one the uh, length once uh, a a higher length will give higher resistance so if you are having a length of wire is small the resistance will be small and if longer wire will having higher resistances thereby the cross sectional area higher cross section will be having lesser resistance so here here what happens once your cross sectional area keep on in decreasing the resistance starts increasing 
because they are inversely proportional next one uh, how this uh, resistance uh, varying with respect to temperature once the rising temperature will result in increasing resistance for a pure metals so the increase is large and fairly regular for normal range of temperature for normal temperature what happens the resistance will keep on increases linearly and for alloys the increase is relatively small and irregular in the case of electrolytes or insulators here the resistance will be in nonlinear suppose the increasing resistance is given by del r it is given by rt minus r0 where rt is resistance at a temperature t degree celsius and r0 is resistance at 0 degree celsius then this increase in resistance is directly proportional to initial resistance and directly proportional to rising temperature so thereby it can be given as rt minus r0 is given by alpha r0 into t and because this change in resistance directly proportional to r0 and temperature as well as the nature of material of the conductor and it is represented by alpha and this alpha is known as temperature coefficient of resistance for the conductor that we are using and this temperature coefficient it is defined as increase in resistance per ohm original resistance per degree celsius rise in temperature 